Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we take up MCQs based on important articles and news from the Hindu and the Indian Express newspaper. Topics which we are going to cover today are displayed on your screen. Let's begin the discussion. Now let's start our session with our first question which is based on this article which appeared on page 7 in the Hindu newspaper. According to this article, recently Kerala government has published a forest department map that details human habitations, buildings and farmlands on the periphery of 22 protected forests spanning 115 densely populated villages in the state. Now, in environment, themes like national park, biosphere reserve, eco-sensitive zone is important for your prelims examination. Like this question, based on Augusta Malai Biosphere Reserve, came in year 2019. Now, question based on eco-sensitive zone have already been covered. So here, we have taken practice question based on national parks. In this practice question, you have to identify the correct pair. In one column, you are provided with national parks. In another, you are provided with respective states. So our first option is Silent Valley. It is a national park in Kerala and not in Karnataka. It is located in the rich biodiversity of Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. So our first pair is incorrect. Now let's come to the second pair, Mukurti National Park. Now this park is located in the western corner of the Nilgiri's plateau west of Uti Hill Station in the northwest corner of Tamil Nadu. The park was created to protect its ketone species like Nilgiri Tahir. So our second pair is correct. Now let's come to the third option, Nagra Hul. It is located in Kodagu district and Mysore district in Karnataka and not in Andhra Pradesh. This park was declared as a 37th Tiger Reserve of India in 1999 and it is part of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. So our third pair is incorrect. Now let's come to the last option that is Papikonda. It is a national park located near Raja Mahendravaram in the Papi Hill of Andhra Pradesh and not in Kerala. So our fourth pair is incorrect. So our correct answer is option C that is two only. Answer of this PYQ is option A. Now our next question is based on this article which featured on page one in the Hindu newspaper. According to this article, the Karnataka Legislative Assembly on Thursday unanimously adopted a resolution asserting that the boundary dispute between Maharashtra and Karnataka is a closed chapter, thus asserting that there is no chance of reorganization of state boundary as being demanded by some political parties in Maharashtra. Now, we have already discussed boundary disputes from the polity lens. So here, we have taken map-based aspects of this region, which is quite important for your prelims examination, as UPSC has been asking map-based question in pre-examination. Now, let's come to the practice question. Question says, what is the correct sequence of occurrence of the following mountain ranges in Western India as one proceeds from north to south? The first option is Balagat range, second Satmala hills, third Harish Chandra range and fourth is Satpura range. Now let's solve this question with the help of map. Now if one proceeds from north to south, the first is Satpura range. It is a range of hills in central India. The range rises in eastern Gujarat, running east through the border of Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and ends in Chhattisgarh. The range parallels to the Vindhya range to the north and these two east-west ranges divide Indian subcontinent into the Indo-Gangetic plain of North India and the Deccan plateau of the south. Now after Satpura, next is Satmala Hills. It is a mountain range which runs across Nasik district in Maharashtra. They are an integral part of the Sayadri's range within Nasik. Now Satmala further continues to Ajanta and this part is known as Ajanta range. Now after Satmala, next is Balaghat range. It is a mountain range of low elevation in the Maharashtra state of India. It runs southeastwards from western Ghats at the Harishan range to the border of Maharashtra and Karnataka. Now the last is Harish Chandra range. It is a spur of western Ghats in Maharashtra. It lies between the Godavari and the Bhima rivers and act as a water divide between the Godavari and Krishna basins. So the correct sequence is first is Satpura, then Satmala, then Balaghat and then Harish Chandra range. So our answer is option A, 4, 2, 1, 3. Answer of this PYQ is option A. Now our next question is based on this article which appeared on page 3 in the Hindu newspaper. This article is in news as recently the Bhutan spiritual leader Dalai Lama arrived in Bodhgaya after a two-year gap 
due to COVID-19 pandemic. Now, under Indian heritage and culture, Buddhism is very important for your prelims as well as for your mains examination. Question based on Buddha came in year 2014. So here, we have curated practice questions on other important aspects related with the life of Buddha like Bodh Gaya. So in this question, you have to identify the correct statements with respect to Bodh Gaya. The first statement is, Gautam Buddha attained the enlightenment at this place. Now, at Bodh Gaya, previously known as Uruvela, after practicing self-mortification for six years, Buddha gave up that practice because it did not give him Vimukti. Then, he discovered noble eightfold path without help from anyone and practiced it. Then, he attained Buddhatva or enlightenment. Enlightenment is a state of being completely free from lust, hatred and delusion. So, first statement is correct. Now, let's come to the second statement. Mahabodhi temple was constructed during the reign of Mauryan dynasty. Now, Mahabodhi temple is one of the oldest brick temples in India. The original structure, later replaced, was built by Mauryan empire Ashoka, one of the Buddhism's most important proselytes to commemorate the Buddha's enlightenment. So our second statement is correct. Now let's come to the third statement. During the Mahajantada's period, this place was under the control of Kashi kingdom. Now, during the period of Mahajantada's, Bodh Gaya was under the control of Magadh Empire and not under control of Kashi. So our third statement is incorrect. So our correct answer is option A, 1 and 2 only. Answer of this PYQ is option C. Now, our next question is based on this article which appeared on page 8 in the Hindu newspaper. According to this article, in a significant development in international trade law, four separate world trade organizations, panel reports have ruled that the tariffs of 25% and 10% on steel and aluminium, respectively, that the United States had imposed during the presidency of Donald Trump are inconsistent with the WTO law. Now, under Indian economy, UPSC has been asking questions based on international trade body. Like this question, based on one of the principal legal agreements of WTO came in year 2020. So here, we have curated practice question on WTO. In this practice question, you have to identify the correct statements with reference to the World Trade Organization. Now, WTO is an international organization established to oversee global trade rules among nations and mediate disputes. It facilitates trade in goods, services and intellectual property among participating countries by providing a framework for negotiating trade agreements which aim to reduce or eliminate tariffs, quotas and other restrictions. Now, Uruguay round of negotiations conducted from 1987 to 1994 culminated in the Marrakesh Agreement which established WTO. So, our third statement is incorrect as established after Uruguay round of negotiation and not after the Doha round of negotiations. Now, WTO officially commenced operations on 1st January 1995 thus replacing the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, established in 1947. So, our second statement is correct. Now, WTO is not a specialized body of the United Nations, but has cooperative arrangements and practices with the UN. So, our first statement is incorrect. So, our correct answer is option B, that is two only. Answer of this PYQ is option C. Now, our next question is based on this article which appeared on page 6 in the Indian Express. According to this article, Rajya Sabha recently passed the Scheduled Tribes 4th Amendment Bill 2022 to include Beta Kuruba community along with Kadu Kuruba in the list of scheduled tribes in Karnataka. Now, during the 2022 winter session, nine bills were introduced and seven were passed by both the houses. This raises the inquisitiveness to know the procedure of passage of the bills in the parliament. Now, let's look into the previous year question first before taking the practice question. This question was asked in year 2015. It is about the joint sitting of both the houses of the parliament for passing a bill. Now, let's come to the practice question. Question says, consider the following statements about passage of bills in the parliament according to constitution of India and here you have to find out the correct statements. The first is, when a bill has been passed by both houses of parliament, then it is up to the president to either assent to the bill or withhold his 
assent. Now, it is a correct statement as it comes under Article 111 of the Constitution of India. According to this, when a bill has been passed by both the Houses of Parliament, it shall be presented to President and the President shall declare either that he assents to the bill or that he withholds assent therefrom. Now let's come to the second statement. The President may return the bill other than money bill to the Parliament with a message for reconsideration of the bill along with certain amendments. Now the statement is correct as President may return the bill if it is not a money bill to the Houses with a message requesting that they will reconsider the bill or any specified provisions thereof in particular will consider the desirability of introducing any such amendments as he may recommend in his message and when a bill is so returned the Houses shall reconsider the bill accordingly and if the bill is passed again by the Houses with or without amendment and presented to the President for assent the President shall not withhold assent therefrom. Now let's come to the third statement. If a bill is passed again by the houses with or without amendment and presented to the president for assent, the president then may pocket the bill indefinitely. Now this statement is incorrect as we have already discussed that in such instance president has no choice but to approve the bill. So here our correct answer is option D, 1 and 2 only. Answer of this PYQ is option A. Now our last question is based on this article which appeared on page 7 in the Indian Express. According to this article, recently Rajasthan High Court rejected a plea by Robert Wadra seeking the quashing of an enforcement directorate case into the purchase of land in Bikaner by a company linked to him. Now this article is not relevant for your UPSC prelims examination. But as UPSC has been asking questions based on different statutory and non-statutory bodies like this question based on NGT and CPCB came in 2018. So here we have curated practice question based on enforcement directory. In this practice question you have to identify incorrect statements with reference to ED. Now the first statement is it is a statutory body. Now, Directorate of Enforcement is a multidisciplinary organization mandated with investigation of offenses of money laundering and violations of foreign exchange laws. It is not a statutory body. Basically, it is an agency under Ministry of Finance. So, our first statement is incorrect. Now, let's come to the second statement. Department of Economic Affairs has administrative control over the ED. Now, it functions under the Department of Revenue of the Ministry of Finance. In 1960, the administrative control of the Directorate was transferred from the Department of Economic Affairs to the Department of Revenue. So our second statement is incorrect. Now let's come to the third statement. It cannot take an action so motu. Now this statement is correct as one has to complain to any other agency or police first and then ED will investigate the matter and will identify the accused. So here we have to identify the incorrect statements. So our answer is option B. One and two only. Answer of this PYQ is option B. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more such updates.